And welcome back to the Extra Long Run, where we are playing Xenoblade Chronicles 3. So, last time, um, Mia kind of became Mobius in a way, but not really, and she's also still Ouroboros, and Better make sure you're just well gonna rested. have to watch the, the last part if you weren't here for the stream live because holy crap things are moving at a breakneck pace pace right now. I'll start, shall I? Let's just have an Erethiish sashimi plate. This has me raring to go. Highly piley ocean's belly. So that's Excellent. a new recipe then. So rest up. Looks. No, but it's so pretty. Hair is like lifeblood of girl. Not to be chopped like so many noodles. Not exactly. I can't decide. Should I cut it or just leave it alone? <laughs> Why ask? Just do whatever you like. You've got to keep it long. It'd be a crying shame. Well, this body, it's been granted to me by my other self, right? I don't know if it's fine for me to just snip. Yeah, that's a big question for sure. Hmm. The hair doesn't just belong to me, but it's... It's what? It's such a pain in the ass to wash! <laughs> huh? What? I just can't smart and deal with it! How she'd ever have the patience? The washing takes ages, and the bedhead's a nightmare. And don't get me started on the latrine! Whoa! Say no more, love. Oh, Mimi. So, what do you think? Uh, well... Look, why don't you just ask Noah? This has nothing to do with him. It's my problem and mine alone. Is it just that... you're looking for permission? I'd also settle for a no? Hmm... And everyone's just kind of saying, do what you want. Right then, let's sort this out. We'll decide for you if you want. But afterwards, you better not come crying, got it? Mm, I won't, I promise. Oh, you're, you're letting me pick. Um, Xylent, are you still in chat? Because usually I turn to chat for decisions like this. So we have short hair Mio or long hair Mio. This will have absolutely no bearing on the story. It is just a uh, it's just a cosmetic change, but I don't think we can change back if we decide on one. Oh, now you're asking me. No, I'm asking you. Which style do you prefer? I am the one playing, but usually I would still ask people in chat what their opinion is. So regardless of my opinion, what is your opinion? I like the long hair better. Oh, we're going with the long hair then. The cloud keep, you say? Yes. It's where the Queen of Agnes lies sleeping. And this is the key we need to get there. You could throw yourself off, but it wouldn't be enough. Such is the fate of a Mobius. You should know by now. 
It's you. We've met before, when you were still human. Your Majesty, my Queen. I will go to sleep, for a good long time indeed. That should keep me out of Zed's claws. <sighs> Take this. Whenever it is I wake up again, the world will be ripe for a change. Until that time, keep it safe. You should give it to those who deserve it. How will I know who? They'll come before you. Of that, I have no doubt. But why choose me? Because you, nay, the two of you, one day, you will certainly meet your true selves. Our true selves? Huh? I must say, I'm surprised by the location. It's right in the vicinity of Gamma and Nine. How has it escaped detection for all this time? The area around the keep, it's absolutely swimming with black fog. And there's optic oh. camouflaging on the structure itself. So that'll be why. Is that all from M's memories? Hmm. All stuff she passed on to me. Crazy. Gondo, you knew M. Yeah. From a pretty long way back. She's the one who gave me that bloody thing in the first place. She said you lot were our last hope. Asked us to lend you our assistance and junk. She must have been guarding the Queen's words. Yeah, for proper yonks and yonks, and no mistaking. Proper yonks and yonks. And that's yonks? also the reason that you were waiting for us. What does that mean? Cooped up there all that time. Busted. And the thousand lives thing. What was all that? Nice feel, right? I wrote it. Are you serious? Snuff, that's a letdown. You what? Let's head out as soon as we're ready. Mobius is still out and about. We don't have to worry about Mio's lifespan anymore. But we can't just sit around, okay? Yeah, definitely. Um, guys. Mm hmm? There's a place other than Cloud Keep that I really need to go to. Really need? Seems you're rather troubled. Are you certain it's really that vital? It's Colony Omega. Omega? What? No way! It's still there? The colony I lived in with Miyabi. It was under the control of Mobius Y. I learned something important from the other me. Miyabi's still alive. This. Miyabi, she clearly means a lot to you, then. I'm happy to leave the decision to you. Of course, we can head for the keep first. This is something personal for me. Right. I hear you. Okay, to Omega. If Mio's saying she has to go Omega? there, then we will. We'll make it high priority. Thank you, Noah. So now we have two destinations, plus a third destination that's going to be dictated by uh, Riku and Manana. But now what is this? <laughs> that stinks. Freaking sort of origin thing. You made me look like a complete idiot. The unexpected doth come to pass. Deeply fascinating. Yeah, but what's the plan? 
You're not gonna want to let it slide, surely. We acknowledge and accept. Whether outside or indeed within, all is part of the flow. Man, you're like a broken record. It is, after all, part and parcel of my being. Huh. I'll just do things my way, then. Uruboros. They're nothing without what we gave them. Hm. Got a problem, Why? I shall claim primacy. Yeah, sitting there like a broken doll at this point. What is your deal, Zed? Game setting and lock Mio's Mio's hairstyle? So that is an option? We can switch it whenever we want. So in that case, it's it's a little bit like. Um, well, I guess I can't say that because that's really kind of a spoiler. But um, let let me just say this is not the first time that for the final chapter of a game, you're able to change the attributes of one of the main characters. But since it didn't matter in the first place, and that we can just switch from short to long any time. I'm used to the short, but I kind of like the long. And for this series, I feel it's appropriate that we go with the long. Well, there goes Eno. <laughs> dance, Eno, dance! There we go! Woo! <laughs> All right. Um Now where is it we need to go? Huh? Hey, did you guys hear something? Head to Capricorn Peak where the where the Cloud Keep and Colony Omega are. Alright. And that is gonna be in. That's gonna be in Asia, because uh, that's where. Colony 9 is. That's where we started the game. Also, there's an, ab there's an abandoned Ferranus here. I kind of would like to. You know what? I'm gonna go to that abandoned for honest and liberate it. Reboot it. Just because it's there. I did discover it during my um during my break when I was um you know when I was taking a break for Desert Bus and basically went around the entire map. And mapping as much as I could. I don't want to do also, this. there's an ether sphere right way. here. How oh, dare you break us? Setting the cylinder. 
and this either. The next ether sphere should be here, I believe. Okay. Um uh, there's a husk over there. I know if we're still doing the send-off thing. As far as I know we are. Of course, it could entirely be that uh, the moment I find another husk and be like, well, we're sending them off and uh, Neo's like, no, we ain't sending them off for, you know, this and that reason. We got three of them, so let's go ahead and deal with the non-elites before dealing with the elite. Also, Eno's having a hell of a time because that's uh, kind of an at-level fight for her. Who are we targeted on? Now. You know what? Maybe this is a bad idea. I guess we'll do this later. Oh wait, I have to go to Cadencia region? Where in Cadencia region? Okay. Yeah, it's a place where I tried to map out, and I was like, yeah, this isn't the way we have to go. So I was right about it being an important place. So I forgot that I had turned off the quest route for uh, for my mapping journey. So I just pulled it free. No, I mean Lucky Seven? Hmm. Well, seem like it. It's not changed one bit. Well, obviously. Shape just cosmetic. Pardon? People and Ouroboros also not change. Before Paul free, Mobius' power not affect it either. Right. Hmm. Lucky is simple contraption. What actually matter, Noah? The will of the wielder. If understand, then why ask? Just who are you? Riku, just Riku. Common variety Nopon. And how's a common Nopon get his wings on this? As said, receive from Masterpon to keep safe. Really? What Noah possibly think? Riku mustered up some big fancy lie? <laughs> What Riku say funny? No, all good. We'll say I believe you. Meh meh. Riku bothered by that wording. <laughs> Don't worry. I think I get it now. Oh? He is Riku. Nonetheless, Riku speaks about himself. Lucky in the Seven person. is something we'll have to cherish as we go on. As, as do all now. Riku, on. thanks a lot. Okay. 
from Kingdom Hearts. I have not played a Kingdom Hearts game in a very long time. Marvelous. Deft motions with nary a sign of hesitation. The footwork, oh, gotcha. remarkable. Thee especially. Oh, how gladdened I am to have awoken thee. Miyabi, my most valuable puppet. Guide them forth with thy inimitable melody. These waifs, these immaculate strays. Hey, camera, Ivy. Just because I feel the need to. Let's get every little bit of map out of this. Beyond here is the Atia region. And it's onwards to the Cloud Keep. Atia? Into a proper Ionios trotting adventure. Okay, so I guess one is pronounced Atia. It just had never been pronounced before, so I didn't know. And uh, we need to get to Adia through Cadenzia. Also, I thought that Loco was already playing here, it? it. It got awful snowy real fast. What is this? To Corn Peak. Can't even get through that obstacle, Miyabi? Shouldn't have slacked in basic. 20 laps of the colony and pick up the pace. <laughs> That's rude. An offseer? Really? That's right. But why? I was top of the rankings. In all the training categories. It's done. But sir. So she didn't want Enter. to be an officer. Miyabi. As of now, consider yourselves our official colony theta officers. But Commander. Understand. This decision is final. <sighs> So, did you learn the score? Hmm, I guess. So you can play it? More or less. 
That's so cool. And your part's so much harder than mine as well. I've been trying, but I'm struggling a bit with the start of the 12th bar. Can we please just drop it? Oh. We'll play tomorrow. I just want to get it over with. You... You're right, yeah. Sorry. Oh. Well then. I'll practice and make sure I've got my part down pat. I mean, she eventually did grow up to become a squadron leader on top of being an officer, so at least there's that. Shall we go, Mia? I wonder why she had that thought right now, though. Side story, Mia. Okay, and that's, uh, that's the one where we go to Colony Omega. Ah! Almost forgot about this thing! Also, just for fun, let's look at the area map here. Make sure we... Uh, Etia region. And we have to take it you saying it Atia because it looks a lot more inhospitable than I'd imagined. You appear to be vibrating a whole lot here, sir. Are you okay? So does every officer have their own melody? Or Hey! Oh, thank you. Nadia. What's up? Fine tuning? Yeah. Got another battle tomorrow. Bit of a waste, ah. Uh. And you're such a slick fighter, too. Can't believe they paired you with that klutz me Abby. I don't know what the commander was thinking. <laughs> At least you get to take it easy. Low risk of dying when you're in the rear guard. I don't think she's comfortable. Nadia, but... we're waiting for you. Mission briefing? Cool, be right there. Later! Guess we live to fight another day? Come on, let's head back. To be fair, we scored some good points today. Tally's next week, was it? Maybe they just have like different send off songs. 
over the year? This is all such a waste. What is? Everyone else is out collecting life. And here we are, noodling our tunes. What use are we really? To the colony and everyone? I think it's obvious. We can only truly contribute... After death, is all. After death, though. Isn't that just pointless? We could be playing our hearts out here. And nobody'd even see us. Is that right? Sure it is. Mio, is that why you're here? For recognition? Is that why you're being an officer? For a commendation? No, it's just duty. You know, I'm actually glad I was born a klutz. I bet you're just scared. <laughs> it is scary. Fighting. I am afraid to steal others' lives with my own hands. Actually, I'm impressed that it comes so easy to everyone else. It's just natural. We all of us live to fight. You're wrong. We just have to... We fight to live, that's all. <sighs> Mio, have you ever touched a mote of light from a Kavesi? They're the same as ours. On the other side, the people live hoping the same things as us. It's a sad fate. Still, if we're forced to live this way, the least we can do is this. Fly high, ever higher. Goodbye, and thank you to send on the voices of the departed is an offseer's purpose. It's not a waste at all, so long as those voices speak to you. Voices? See, if I, if I was going to learn a song from a game right now, it would be the Send Off song.
Not gonna lie. And it gets me. Probably nothing up here, but I'm going to go up here anyway. Maybe there's a shiny up here. Yeah, there is actually. There it is. Right there. I found something shiny. We should take good care of that. Actually, hang on. So this is not a drop to certain demise. Oh. This might be a little high. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Mm. That was death. <laughs> Whoops. I don't know that the eye patch is particularly useful anymore, especially considering that we don't. No, like we have not been to the new location of uh, of the city. Also, I'm pretty sure that the path that I didn't take over there is probably going to lead to Cloud Keep. Ooh. This is the six right? You say we'll find Colony Omega here? Yeah. The colony I was at with me, Abby. Over here! Hopefully this goes better than the fight that we had um, at the old Ferranus. Might not. Press the wrong button. I want to do uh, dead set and white slash maybe quick draw instead. I am going to do it for the Ow, ow, ow. I want to do the front one. That was down. I was back up. So was everyone. Let's go. Let's go with you. Uh, what's your special again? And here completes an order as 30 to the TP of the character with the least TP and reactivates. 
Good to know. Well, it's probably gonna be lands. Oh crap, I want. Oh, shoot. I want to finish with. Uh... Finish with me now, but I kind of forgot there in the middle of everything. Finish with you now. So she's gonna have the extra effect of giving someone. Uh, wasn't keeping track of who though. Yeah, there we go. So Mio and Land are my options for an Orbos order. This is with uh Get everyone nice and topped up. You're going to exceed. Oh, and that gives us our war sorter. I want to avoid exceeding. I hmm, I don't know if Tyon's gonna do it. He could end up doing it single-handed. I'm gonna take a chance. Yeah, sure enough. <laughs> Should have known. Should have known better. Should have picked someone else, but I didn't. gonna overheat but uh ow it was not doing so great and that's not good Neo heal yourself you dummy Let's 
Sando's not doing so great. No, Sando's down. Back off of Lance is probably going down. There he goes. Sure, let's do another chain attack. I mean, this guy's almost dead, but doesn't really matter what I do. Provi provided that I don't abort the chain attack early, this this is a done deal. She reactivated herself. That's actually really good, actually. Actually, actually, actually. Overkill. Mm, I think. Go ahead and hit Uni. She is going to point limit. And then hit him with Eno again. So I'll give you a Bravo. This is going to reactivate the person with the least TP and one other person. I'm wondering if both are going to get the TP bonus. Nope, only one is dead. Um, so I got Uni, I've got Lens, let's go Kai. This probably will not exceed. They take me real close. I'm gonna get another Robin. Oh. Okay. Oh, Boro Soldier, yeah. Hmm. Um, Noah shouldn't exceed. Then I can do the two healers, and then I'll finish with, uh, you know. I was expected. Oh! Okay, let's finish with Amazing then. I wasn't expecting her to get 101 TP at that. Ah, crap, I didn't have a soul hacker in the party. Is this, like, a rare thing? Oh, well. I don't want to do this, but you're in our way. I can do this with my eyes closed. And now for a much easier fight. This is what we're 
Maple. Yeah. Let's harvest the high ether. I'm reading another ether sphere. It's a very precarious place for a container. Can I get that without triggering this cutscene? Probably not. Oh, I can! <clears throat> I gotta say, this is massively uncomfortable. Let's just get back, shall we? And trigger this cutscene. Sounds good. The cold of the highlands is no joke. It would definitely be a good idea to rest up. How about that spot over there? Yeah, that looks good. Let's go. Oh, I'm freezing. Mia, aren't you cold? This is still bearable for me. I guess you hate the cold, Uni? I know I hate the cold, and the cold is definitely coming. What the map on? Not weak against cold. So we gotta talk about snow. Diggy boom boom down. Mo mama. Stone. Stone is lost. So basically, you're saying your stone fell Good off the wall. Everything. Some relations have changed. As is uh as is the style at the time. Really should see about trying to upgrade Eno at some point. <clears throat> Let's make the most of our break, guys. Speaking of, yeah, she's got a load of bonus experience. So I'm pretty sure that's how it works. It's like, they're not going to completely leave your heroes behind where they're just going to be that far back in levels. They're still going to gain bonus experience. Let's talk about the snow, I guess. Could you all come around for a second? I mean, I guess. You freeze your arse off. Yeah, give me a sunny beach any day. 
Because you hate nice things. So hot, I'm gonna melt into a pancake. I don't think she said that. <laughs> I mean, she was definitely having a hard time with the heat. But I don't think she said, like, I want to die. Shout yourself warm. Suppose Mia could have just yelled herself cool. <laughs> yeah, we still don't have all the data for that. We would still have to travel all the way back to Inmuk Camp for that. I don't really want to do that right now. Well, let's just take a rest and advance this, uh, this story. Mio, can you tell us more about Colony Omega? I've had glimpses Omega. when we interlink, but what does it all mean? Right. I'll try. Senna, is that okay? May I? Yeah. I don't see a problem with that. You can tell them. Five years ago, the three of us were foot soldiers in Colony Theta. One day, with no reason given, we were transferred to Colony Omega. We didn't fight. Rather, we were subject to daily examinations for no clear reason. Then one day, there was a... an accident. Take this. I'm giving you my whole self. So please, live life in my stead. Me happy. Well, you finally get to learn where she got that. We'd seen this bit of the story. But we didn't know what was happening. Apparently, Miyagi's still alive. I... I couldn't do a thing. I wasn't any use. None at all. Hero. All that an officer ought to be. 
She put it in here. And she gave it to me. Truly a... Hero. I decided... I'll find it for myself. I'll leave my mark... ...on others and the world. This lifetime... ...that Miyabi gave to me... ...I'll use it well. Regret all you want, but the past can never be changed. But you can change who you are in the present. If I was stronger then, like now, I might have been able to save everyone. Is it wrong to think that? Not at all. I feel you. I know I wish I'd been stronger back then. So yeah, I want to go back there with that in mind. And now I have the chance. Mio, what kind of colony is this Omega? I never even knew it existed. Yeah, our side didn't know about it either. We've got, what, 23 Acnean colonies in all? They go up to Psy. Good intel. Hey now, don't go lumping me in with Lance. I took my education seriously. Ah, shut up. Don't flatter yourself. Colony Omega was an independent entity. It never engaged. The name it used was Agnion, but even that wasn't the whole truth. Omega's administrator was the Mobius Y. He was performing some kind of experiment there. Using us as guinea pigs. I don't know what he was doing. M wasn't briefed on it either. All I can remember is that oddly glowing violet flame clock. A colony that doesn't fight. Never knew that was even a thing. Wise restored it now. Colony Omega, I mean. You know this from M. Senna, anything to add? I don't really know much about it. The accident happened... ...pretty soon after we were moved. I see. Omega's existence... ...the tests... ...it was all why. That's just... ...the Mobius he is. Do share. Mimi, remember? Didn't we see the same color on Ethel and Kamaravi's Veronises? I could be wrong. No, you're spot on. Good call, Senna. I didn't think of that at all. Really? Ethel and Kamaravi had their lives taken. And in that accident, so were the whole colonies. Most likely, Y was running experiments that could potentially prove fatal to our soldiers. And now that the colony's back, you're thinking Miyabi's still in there. Yeah. That's why I have to go. To end this. He's toys with our lives as he pleases for long enough. Exactly. I'm with you. Let me go too. We're all going, I thought. Right? Yeah. Obviously. Let's go, Mio. To Colony Omega. Everyone, thank you. This time, 
I'll do the saving. The brilliant doth please. For ceaseless eons, we Mobius have ever been apace with this world. Yet with drawn out abiding, many lost sight of the fifth thereof, dissipating slowly as doth the world. Life is exigent, more dazzling than now, if we wish to save the world. So is that a flame clock that runs on annihilation energy? Is that the conclusion that I'm supposed to be reaching here? Would you mind? Okay, so we are still doing Seth off. Somewhere around here, right? Yeah. Oh, come into view any minute now. Oh, you're dealing with me. Oh, 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 I don't know if you're gonna turn around and face me. Well, what's up to me? Interesting that the, the blocker elite is not the actual elite. And that the elite mob here is the Kevis Walker not I feel like that was an oversight.
Oh, there's platforms up there. That's what I'm seeing on the map. I like how everybody just targeted Noah at the same time. It's like, oh crap. We got the healers. We got one of our healers, yeah? That's not great. One way to handle it if you're about to go down, just go or worse instead. Wait a sec. They're a mixed unit. But that's just not possible. Oh, possible or not, it's what we've got to deal with right now. We'll just have to adapt. Unusual. They might be stretched thin. Huh? If it's like Neo said, then they've been running an experiment out of Omega. These soldiers are evidently one of the results. Kevis and Agnes. What kind of experiment could involve both of them? I don't know. But I do know the answer lies ahead. Yeah, I think I think the better name for this place is considering We're sure to learn something there. Now, the better name for this place, considering that it has both Agnes and Kevis, would have been <gasps> Colony Omega Zero. You don't sound very surprised there, Ty. Yeah. Oh, did I? Okay. Yeah, I accidentally switched to me. It's a 
big hits there by the way. I don't think I need to use a chain attack for this game. Some would say use a chain attack anyway, it's good for grinding because the more overkill you get, the more um, experience bonus you get, and you don't get a whole lot of experience from regular mobs. It does take a while to get a hundred and seven out there. Well, thanks for dropping by, Island. At least someone did. <laughs> People from the no, from if that was the case, the wouldn't the they game. be way younger? Mwamba looks like he did this term. Mwamba, it's me, Lance. You know me. I don't think he does anymore. Mwamba! Hey, Kamaravi. How you doing? And now, Kamaravi? What's going on? This melody. Why? Miyabi, so that's why. It's me, Senna, your friend. We came to save you. You don't have to fight for him anymore. So stop and come along with us. Save thy breath. <gasps> the revenants neither remember nor feel. Only the instinct to fight tooth and nail for survival. Normally, they would undergo basic conditioning in a cradle prior to being awoken. As you all once did. They would fight for ten years before returning to Her Majesty. What a piece of work. These younglings, they live for the sole purpose of battle. They are just as you are. You're full of it. Our memories and feelings, they define us. They dictate who we are. When you take all of that away... Tis a phantasm. Fundamentally, memories and feelings are but tacked on extras and afterthought. Tacked on? Cut the crap! Oh, they are as sheep. You are simply deceiving yourselves, wishing to divine some meaning from something that is devoid of it. Ugh. Why are you doing this? What's your goal? Merely the betterment of life for Mobius. What? For such is Zed humble desire. Zed? It is Zed who wove the fabric of this world. Consequently, 
We who are his avatars enjoy powers beyond mortal ken. Mobius or Zed's avatars? The gift I was imparted is the creation of flame clocks. Must I say more? I hold the life of every soldier in the very palm of my hand. <sighs> Basically, Indeed, the flame clocks. They are part of my very being. So we kill you. Ethel and Camarades flame clocks. Those were some of my finest work. Did they not thrill you? The ebb and flow of their lives. Uh. <sighs> then did it strike me. Like unto a flame. Human life also doth glow and glimmer brightest just before it is quenched. And hence, there can be no greater nourishment. Indeed, this flame clock is therefore my proudest creation. The final year when life is at its most dazzling. A clock that gives rise to a sublime instant. Tis a flame clock most radiant. Final year? So that's it. Muamba and Kamarabi, you brought them back close to their homecoming. Why? This is all kinds of screwed up. I've never met anyone I wanted to punch more. Yeah. Even for Mobius, he takes the biscuit. What is the matter? Proceed with the killing. Let your function be fulfilled and kill. And I shall raise you up as many times as needed. With my flame clock ablaze. He's mad. Come, come. Let my eyes feast upon the brilliance of your lives. Here and on. Let's uh, focus on one at a time. Oh, yes, for anyone who wasn't here at the beginning of the game, Mwamba was one of our party members, and now we're fighting him. I'm guessing that Pat was one of the uh, one of the members of Colony Gamma. Forcing out there. Can't have that. Can't have that. Keep you. At the moment, we switch to another character here. I think I'm gonna go for Colonel Robbie next, and I'm gonna shoot him for him. Smoldering Colonel Robbie. I'm gonna be a smoldering creator by the, by the time we're done with you. You know, unlimited. This 
should hopefully do it. Three points off. Ooh, that nearly did it by itself. Absolutely right. Come on, you. You get so strong. Kamaravi, too. The last time we fought, he was in a Pharonis. But he seems to be even more driven this time round. Sparks! Is this their fight or flight instinct? Poor Miyavi. They're strong, all right. But that's all they are. Huh? The melody Miyavi used to play? It wasn't like this. There's no way it was ever this sad. So then... Yeah. They're hollow. There's no will behind their actions. It's not our old friends that we're fighting here. It's something else. An astute observation, yes. It is so. Owing to the basic conditioning being lacking, their psyches are rather unstable. The melody you hear serves to prop them up. 
An offseer conveys peace to their cohorts. They enable them to realize dreams. That is what I focused my efforts on and iterated. That's wrong! You can't use the offseers! Au contraire, au contraire. Behold for thyself. The mental instability is assuaged, and their movements adhere to the base specifications. Certainly, there is no will behind it, but will is an undesired side effect. Evil! You can't do this! Not to me, Abby! Not to our off-seen rights! How dare you use them to your own ends! That's a good tune. A Chris original? Yeah, I suppose it is. Maybe I'll pinch it as well. You've got your own tunes, Noah. Those are just as good. Wonderful, I'd say. Really? I only tweaked a few notes in a score from my previous colony. It's not the notes that matter. It's the feelings you imbue them with. Feelings? Raw emotion. It resonates. Mio! It's feelings! Feelings? It's the off mm. melody we've been playing. We just need to play it again now. She's an off too. I know for sure it'll reach her. Of course, yeah. Our melody. Just like always. Yeah. Understood. I'm taking the lead. You follow. Noah, Mia, what are you? Wow. Good thinking, you two. Huh? I'm saying this might actually work. Come on, guys. Defend. Lance. Say oh, that. really? All right. Sure thing. Okay, so this is a cutscene. For, for a second there, I thought I was actually going to make him fight with, uh... Without Noah and Mia. This makes me think of the Battle of the Bands from, hey, from Scott Pilgrim. You hear me? It's me. Mio. Remember. Didn't think I made two Scott that Pilgrim day, references in that When you story. first explained to me the purpose of an offseer, softly, that fateful day when the lights of life danced into the sky, so high. Ever since that day, I've, I've done my best. To play that melody you trusted me with. Me, Abby, you gave me newfound life back then. Now, let it be my turn. Help me. Just wait, Me, Abby. I'll be with you soon. to have all been scoured clean! Why? An offseer's melody, it's more than a sequence of notes. It is shaped by feelings. Those of the player and of the ones being played for. All I did 
will shape the feeling Miyabi passed to me. And play my heart out. Inconceivable. You were able to override Zed's precepts? No Ouroboros should command that sort of power. No, Bobia should be able to, to command that sort of power either. That's what's behind this reprehensible act. Well then, I shall just have to ascertain the matter. Oh, Spark! He's coming! I'll ascertain your now ass. Steps in. He's even chunkier hey, than the K guy. That is a lot of chunk. Yeah, no, that is a me. lot of chunk. Come on! Yeah? Take him down. Then we can free the colony. Since you both are no longer bound by the flame hooks, my mother's power certainly holds no sway over you. Oh no. At this late hour, I will bring my mind, spirit, and flesh to bear and batter you all into a oblivion. Fifty-four. We are all pretty much well over time. This shouldn't go too badly, but at the same time, it is an obvious fight, so nothing is set in stone. I have had to uh, to regroup and. Uh, Switch around the classes in order to win a Mobius fight that was 10 levels under me. Oh, come on. Thank you, turning around at the last second. Oof. I don't think we're going to finish it here. Think this plan might work? Doesn't hurt to uh, think positively. I really wish that I was able to see the uh, the facing during a chain attack, so I wouldn't have to guess. Well, oh, that looks like a side attack. That looks like a back attack. No. 
this is a bad attack because that's where I left Noah. I really wish I could have gotten Eno you know, earlier though. Uh, so I got Noah and I got Senna, so I need Neo or Lens. And then might be too little too late, but let's give it a try. That was not the correct first move. This might make it though. Yeah, actually, this is just gonna make. This is at the minimum just gonna make it. And we get to finish off with the Narvors over here. Just barely not an, uh, an amazing. Still doing a rather astounding amount of damage. Just kind of shielding half the time. I think that sounds pretty good right about now. Hey. Bobble. Oh, I pressed cancel instead of switch. Launch. Ah, uh, if I had not pressed the wrong button there, I would have been able to smash. At the very least, uh, I'm almost to the point of being able to draw the lucky seven. Pop up seven. I'm not doing so very well. Now. Get the lucky seven. At the very least, for being really hard to, uh, to actually bring out the lucky seven, it lasts for a while, so... Yeah. 
I could finish this off with a chain attack. And in, in fact, I will. Why not? I don't know why everyone's not in this. Oh, two characters are disarmed. Frick. Including Eno, which really sucks. for some other show up there because I don't think I'm going to be able to get another for the round after this. For this next order. I don't think we're gonna be able to do anything with that. Yeah, no, that's not gonna I'll pick yours because it doesn't matter. destroyed. Miyabi. Miyabi. I've, uh, I've been listening all along. The melody you've been playing every day since then yeah me happy thanks to you i sent on so many so many voices to so many others and i'm not done yet i'll keep going it was a gorgeous melody yours and noah nice to meet you i guess Though I already feel like I know you. Noah, huh? Yours was very beautiful. Just like Mio's. I owe it to this. No, you... You hold on to that. Oh. I I'm sorry. I'll wash it. It'll be as good as new. <laughs> Dummy, that's not what she was trying to say at all. Wait, why am I... Right? From me to Mio, and from her to you, the feeling is passed on. Until you can make your voice truly heard, please keep it with you. Yeah? I will. If that's how you feel, I'll be more than happy to keep using it. Take care then. Mio? Huh? You've become the greatest offseer I've ever seen. Oh, there's still room to grow. But at least I found my stride. Since I'm not alone. 
Could I, uh, come with you? Of course. You're back, Miyabi. We really missed you. Thank you, Mio, Senna. Can't do anything about this now, but we can't forget about Kamaravi and the others. Yeah, they must be pretty bamboozled. There is that, but also they're supposed to be dead. Even if they wake up, they can't go back to their own colonies. Should we discuss this with Travis? If they're in the city, we don't have to worry about them bumping into old friends. And Mobius won't be, wouldn't be able to mess with them too easily either. Okay then. Hey, how are things? We actually wanted to talk to you if, that, if that's okay. Oh, ridiculous tech, eh? Ugh. We destroyed their flame clock, so we shouldn't have to worry about the about the colony. But on the other hand, right? What comes next for your friends is a different matter. I'll, I'll get... Uh, I get it. I'll send some guys over as soon as I get the chance. There's a crew on a scavenging mission close by. Thanks. That's a big help. We are planning to... We are planning on going to the Cloud Keep next. Gotcha. Worried about something? Just wondering if they know... If they'll know to see the city people as allies. Yeah, sorry, that was a weird thing to say. Anyway, we made it this far, so let's hurry to the cloud keep. Quest complete! Side story Mio. The party destroyed Colony's Omega's flame clock, freeing Miyabi, Mwamba, and all the other soldiers who were stationed. This also unlocks. Troubadour Miyabi, and I wonder who's the class inheritor. It's Mio. Of course it is. Also, class rank limit broken. Zephyr can now reach level 20. And Miyabi's class, class Troubadour, role healer, a unique healer that can speed up allies' art recharge speed. Their talent art fully recharges every art of every ally. Interesting. The Burst combo. While an enemy is dazed, hit them with an art that has the Burst reaction to purge their Rage status and increase the number of items they'll drop. Purging Rage status. When, be when enemies become enraged, their attacks get stronger. You can use ZL and the... Um, I think that's ZL and left to set the party on the Burst combo route. Completing the combo will purge the Rage status. Interesting. We can Good take to this off now. Let's call me Omega Camp all the way down there. Here, at least pick that up. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Ah, I thought I thought we injured him. Oh. You can stop resisting now. Victory is already decided. Surrender quietly. Enough. You will find. I don't do as my foes bid me. The enemies you seek... Huh? ...are no more. It's you. Your senses return suddenly. You must be feeling confused. If we startled you, we're sorry. 
Everyone, please put away your weapons. Mimi! It's okay. It's Kamaravi. He wouldn't attack a defenseless opponent. What makes you so sure? I don't believe it's consistent with the warrior's way you follow. You've got some guts. You must want something of me. I'll hear you out. I'll start from the end. We want you to come to the city with us. City? Which colony is that? Is it a colony? How to explain? It's a special place. Safer than where we are at present. Of course, we don't intend to hold you against your will or force you into anything. And what has it to do with me? What do you seek to gain from this? We want you to live true to yourself. True to? Explain. Someone once showed us it was possible to live life as we wanted to. We want to pass it on. And let you be free. Free? Ugh. Are you okay? It's nothing. Just a little twinge. Mm -hmm. Could it be Miyabi's lingering influence? No. This is innate. I can't see through it, but it's fine. Remember the fight with P&O? It could be from that. That pain was the price. What Kamarabi paid for freedom. Or maybe... still does. About what you asked of me before. I have one condition. Promise me that they will receive the same treatment as I. That was our intent from the start. You needn't worry on that count. I thank you. Whatever the circumstance we find ourselves in, the crucial question is always, how do we live? They will realize it too, before long. I wish to find the path I should tread, to discover my warrior's way. For now, we are traveling companions, headed for this place you call the city. Thank you. You will be welcome there. By the by, Kamaravi, how are you with heights? In what sense? I thought you might be startled, so I wanted to give you a heads up. Hmm? You'll understand when you see it. We'll let you know once we're ready to go. Understood. I await eagerly. Your quest, a twist of fate. Good to add more names. So before we do anything. Good to add more names. Oh, we some stuff here. Doesn't seem to be responding. Doesn't seem to be a whole lot going on here. Anyhow. But we're gonna have some stuff to do. We're gonna have to bring Kamravi back to the city. 
We still have that thing that Riku and Nana want to talk about. And then we need to go to Cloud Keep and find the true Queen of Agnes. Better make sure we're well rested. We still have a long way to go. It's good to keep a record. But I would have to say that for now. Okay, time to go, guys. Yeah, exactly. Time to go. Because, unfortunately, it is indeed time to go. So I thank you all for watching. Uh, thank you to Xylem for hanging out. The next scheduled stream is going to be tomorrow at 9 p.m. Atlantic. Uh, sorry, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time or later. It is the uh, Sunday Super Shuffle, and we're going to do some more Archipelago shenanigans. Maybe I'll play some um, some Super Mario World and kind of curious about that um we'll see uh next stream after that is going to be the uh regular long run stream this tuesday at 9 p.m atlantic daylight time atlantic standard time it's no longer daylight time i don't know why i keep this force of habit anyway tuesday at nine is the um Regular long run stream, Spyro Reignited, probably finishing Spyro 1, moving on to Spyro 2. And that takes us round the week, round the wheel to our next extra long run stream next Saturday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Standard Time, where we're going to continue our run of Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Um, also, to note, I uh, I did not say Code Creator in that uh, schedule. Code Creator has been moved to Picarto. Um, you can go to picarto.com, uh, picarto.tv slash Felicitasneko. You can also go to my link tree, which is in the um, about section of the stream. Uh, and all the relevant links are there. But uh, yeah, I have decided to move it to Picardo just for various reasons. Anyway, so join me tomorrow at some time after 8 p.m. for some Sunday Super Shuffle. Anyway, that is going to do it for today. Thank you all for watching. I'm Coolio if you don't know. And I'll see you guys next time.